Hello folks, Off-Grid Gary. Today we're going to be talking off-grid solar. Kind of a little different topic than our normal quick videos. Normally we're doing stuff kind of funny, throwing a rock song in there to make people watch, this kind of thing. But today we're going to be slowing it down a pace and we're going to be talking about solar. This video will be on Rumble, it'll be on YouTube, and it'll be on Facebook, and it'll be on TikTok. So we want everybody to kind of see this video and to kind of know how this stuff works. But when you're talking off-grid solar, you're talking your own power. You're not talking anything that can be controlled by anybody other than yourself. And you say, why would I want that? Well, anytime a hurricane, tornado, any type of disaster that comes up, our power stays on. It's one of those things that's kind of nice when you don't have a power bill. You know, not everybody can say they don't have a power bill. I can't. I don't have a power bill. I don't have a gas bill anymore due to a generator because we don't have a generator for running the power when, uh, we'll say, during storms and so forth. Once in a blue moon, I'll have to borrow a generator from a friend of mine to run for a few hours. And that's only if we go over seven days without sun. Over. And I have made it one day over seven days without a generator, but that's a little hard to do. Uh, seven days is pretty much, yeah, I mean, it works, but eight days is kind of hard. Um, I try not to go that far. You know, generally my system's strong enough, it'll pretty much rock through. But every once in a while you get a day where you get piles and piles of rain and no cloud, you know, all clouds and no sun for three, four days. That really doesn't hurt us. But now when it goes six, seven days, it tends to get a little tougher. But still in all, we have power when everybody else is knocked out. Like during Hurricane Laura, we was probably the only ones in the area that still had electricity. Look, guys, it's not that hard. Start small and work your way up. We're, we're, we're living in times that are a lot different than what they've ever been before. We've got chemicals getting spilled everywhere. We don't know where they're coming from or why do all these train wrecks, whatever. You know, Grow a garden, get your power supply ready because you don't know with everything that's going on if you're going to have power or not. You know, Your refrigerator has got to stay alive, even in a power outage, just to keep your food alive. Your eggs, your mustard, your ketchup, your meat that you buy at the store, your beef, your pork, your chicken. All this stuff has to stay cold, even if you're cooking it outside. You know. I tell everybody, look, go to BigBattery.com, price you a lithium pack. I'm not saying buy the biggest one they got, but find one that's in your budget and find an inverter you could hook into that, even if it's just to run power for six, eight hours until the lights come back on. You know, um, but I would think of something a little longer term. You know, you can get, really, to be honest, if you have a 5K lithium battery, whether it be 5K, 10K, it don't really much matter. But a 5K lithium battery, you can actually charge on a, on a single 300-watt solar panel if you're not pulling a load from it. My golf cart has a 310 on it. That 43-volt battery stays charged. It has a 120-volt pure sine wave inverter that's good for 30 amps. I can actually run my home on that golf cart. And you're saying, well, it's only got a 300 watt panel on it. Well, it's only got a 300 watt panel on it, but I can run my house overnight with that thing. You know, it works good. It works flawlessly well. So with that being said, if you have some solar panels and you have a controller, you can make these things really screen. And like for me, for instance, I use this Victron Energy. It's 150 volts at 85 amps max. Look, guys, this thing is a beast. I don't know if you can read them numbers. My 50.7 volts making 32 amps. I got 1,600 watts coming in. Look, this thing, it's over 1,600 watts coming in. Let me rephrase that. Um, this thing is a, this thing's a beast. And if you're going to have a lithium battery, go check out bigbattery.com. I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is the best battery pack made bar none. I don't care what anybody says. I like these packs. I've used these packs for a while. Here's another one. This is my backup. I have two of these, by the way. They, they are just bad to the bone. You just can't ask for a battery pack. They just, they just keep going and going and going and going. 
it's not like a little ass battery, it's been maintenance free for 10 years. I do have a URL code if you go on my YouTube channel. You can click on there, I have a URL code, and I'll try to put in the URL code in the video on the, on the video description when it's on Rumble Man, TikTok, and all these other sources. But look, guys, this thing really does work, and it really does work good. I have 12 300 watt panels that come into this charge controller, so yes, I make quite a bit of power. But it's my power, and it works really well. We brought a little 240 watt in the background over here. And I have a washing machine that's spinning in the background. I got a 240 watt water heater that's running. The whole house is running on. The whole house is running on this lithium pack right here. This this lithium pack has a 10 year warranty. It's maintenance free. I mean, you just can't beat a battery that's maintenance free. Doesn't need the terminals, doesn't corrode the cables for 10 years. You just can't beat it. So off-grid power is the only way to go. You know, grow your garden and build you a small off-grid station. You only try to just power one room. It don't take it don't take a lot to power one room. Think of a lamp and a TV set. If you can power those for an evening, you know you started small. Then you can move it to a refrigerator overnight or a deep freeze overnight. But at least get that main load that you're going to cover for during that storm, say, because you don't want your freezer to go without electricity. Because you don't want your food. This is just a small conversation we're doing. Look, this ain't gonna be no long video. It's different from the quicks we normally do. This is just a solar talk. But if you would, tag this video, share it, like it, subscribe it. Try to get everybody to watch it because this is just a solar talk. We're not trying to put any fancy music in it. I'm just trying to tell you guys, get ready because the way things are going, you may want a private backup power system that'll work and run part of your home your whole home whatever you're going to want it to run because times are kind of getting scary out there and if you have your own electricity and you have your own food source you'll stay alive have a great day and we'll talk to you later bye